Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to So That Just Happened, a podcast for those who have lost their person and want to find themselves. I'm Carly Cooper, a single mom, widow, coach, author, and chronic truth seeker. My superpower is finding the funny, the hope, and the silver lining in any shit situation. This podcast is for the purpose of education only and is not a replacement for therapy. If you need additional support, please seek out a trained professional for help with your specific situation. Let's get to it, shall we? After experiencing trauma or a loss of any kind, it's very common to feel completely lost. The life you dreamed about and carefully planned for years has imploded. Maybe you feel like you don't even know who you are anymore because your identity was so enmeshed with your spouse or partner. It's understandable to get caught in the rut of just going through the motions, stuck operating in the mindless mode of automatic pilot and spending your days catering to everyone else's needs just to feel productive and purposeful. Allowing life to just happen to you and then just reacting to it. No one would blame you. You've been through and are likely still going through hell. And you're allowed to want to hide under your covers and shut the world and everyone out. But if you're here, listening to this, and you're not my mom or my dad who feel obligated to do so, you want more for yourself. You believe somewhere deep within you that you are a survivor and you deserve another chance at happiness. So let's talk about what's really going on here. When you put your needs and wants last, make excuses, complain, believe that your feelings and thoughts aren't valid or important, or allow other people's energy to negatively influence or affect you, you're giving your personal power away. Now, when I talk about power, I'm not referring to the masculine energy kind of power that is aggressive, controlling, dishonest, competitive, or ruthless. Owning and stepping into your power is about operating from the feminine energy of flow, confidence, authenticity, creativity, aligning with your core values, being growth-oriented and acting with a loving intention. It's a feeling as if you're home. It's about wanting more fun and adventure in your life, spiritually awakening and unlocking your genius and living your purpose. But before you can live in this ideal empowered way, you first have to become aware of how you may be giving your power away. So here are some common ways that you may be giving your personal power away. You give in to guilt. Guilt is a feeling as if you've done something wrong or bad. And if you cave or bend every time someone tries to make you feel this way, you give others power over your behavior. Your ego will also try and guilt you into staying in your comfort zone if you dare try and deviate. Guilt is self-destructive and a hindrance to your healing. Your self-worth depends on what other people think of you. As hard as you may try, The cold hard truth is not everyone's going to like you. I know, it's shocking, right? But do you like everyone you come in contact with? I have a sweatshirt that says, ew, people. So we all know where I stand on that one. You give away your power when you allow one person's negative opinion of you define who you believe you are or how you feel about yourself. You have trouble setting boundaries. If you find that you're feeling more angry, drained, or resentful of people or obligations that take up too much of your time and energy, it's a sign that you aren't setting clear and strong boundaries, and you're allowing their agenda and time to be more valuable than your own. You complain about all the things you have to do. Now, one of the perks of being an adult is you get to have some control over your time and schedule. No doubt life got more challenging because you're a single parent now, and there may be things you feel obligated to do at times because, well, that's life, and you sometimes have to suck it up and occasionally do things you may not enjoy. 
but you give your power away whenever you put yourself last or spread yourself too thin by saying yes to every event or gathering that you have zero interest in attending. When it comes to your life and how you spend your time, you get to make the rules. You hold on to resentment and grudges. As Malachi McCourt once said, resentment is like taking poison and waiting for the other person to die. Holding on to a grudge won't do anything to negatively impact the other person's life. They've likely moved on and probably don't even remember what they did. But if you're still holding on to a past hurt, you're the one suffering, and your quality of life is being diminished because of it. Get the help and support you need so you can find forgiveness and the inner peace to move forward and positively rebuild your life. You've changed your goals or don't pursue your passion based on other people's opinions. Everyone who is actively participating in life gets rejected. Every big idea was once thought to be crazy and risky, but we get to enjoy these innovations and creations because someone believed enough in themselves to see it through. When you disregard your dreams, settle for mediocrity, or play small just because someone doubts you or your abilities, you give that person power over your life. You're extremely sensitive to criticism. Constructive criticism can be very beneficial in helping you become the best version of yourself. But if you only hear the negative or listen to people who don't have your best interest at heart, their words and beliefs can prevent you from really getting out there and creating happiness again. You allow other people's mood and energy affect you in a negative way. You give your power away whenever you allow someone else's drama or toxic energy to cause you to feel angry, anxious, or stressed or when you feel pressured to do something that goes against your beliefs or core values. It's important to stand your ground and protect your energy, no matter what is happening around you. You complain or spend a lot of time focusing on things and people you don't like. Every time you complain about things you don't like, or retell the story of how so-and-so wronged you, you give them power over your thoughts and remain a victim of your circumstance. Other people determine the kind of day you're going to have. You give your power away when you let the actions or mood of your boss, kids, family, partner, coworkers, friends, or the rude barista dictate how your day will unfold. It's up to you to create healthy boundaries and intentionally make it a good day despite other people's drama. You're a perfectionist. Striving for perfection will rob you of your personal power every time. It's a futile quest enveloped in fear and insecurity of not getting it right or dwelling on all that could go wrong. Working towards a perfect result will slow you down or stop you completely. The antidote to perfectionism is finding your courage and acting in spite of your fear with no guarantee of success. Gaining your power back requires you to give up control and to learn how to trust yourself enough that you'll figure things out when they don't turn out the way that you planned. You can handle it. Remember that. You're impatient. When things don't go your way or aren't happening on your timeline, you convince yourself that it's either something flawed in you or that it's not meant to be. This need to control the outcome and the timing is all based around fear. This pressure to make things happen at all costs kills creativity, zaps your energy, and can bring any progress to a crashing halt. Nothing brilliant or worthwhile is ever created with a forced energy behind it. Would you go into your garden and yell at your flowers to grow faster? Would you want to rush your unborn baby to arrive at five months instead of nine? You gain your power back when you become more patient and accepting of the natural unfolding, timing, and flow of life. You try to do everything yourself. Many people struggle with asking for help or support. We think it makes us appear weak, or we worry that others will think we're incapable, 
or we don't want to be a burden on another person, so we isolate ourselves or inadvertently push people away. This is a recipe for burnout, resentment, loneliness, and can feed your insecurities. Humans are wired for connection. We need community and close relationships to thrive. Being able to ask for help, to feel safe sharing vulnerabilities, and to be there for others while they do the same is incredibly empowering. So, now that you're aware of all the ways in which you may be giving your power away, you can begin to take your power back. And you can start by making the decision to be intentional with your thoughts, feelings, and how you react regardless of the situation you find yourself in. Try to let go of control. Stand your ground, yet remain open to other opinions. Form healthy collaborations. Build strong relationships and boundaries. Advocate for yourself and give up the need to always be right. Have the courage to make hard decisions that feel right for you, especially when they aren't popular. Give yourself permission to listen to your heart even when your head is trying to convince you to act otherwise. Allow yourself to be vulnerable and let others experience the real you. Own who you are and express what you need and want. Listen to your inner voice that is nudging you to step into your purpose. The voice that is reminding you that you are meant for more. Be seen. Be heard. Be unapologetically you. Thanks for listening. I'll see you in the next episode. All right, my friends. Thank you so much for listening to this So That Just Happened podcast. I really hope you found value in this episode and that you're walking away with at least one golden nugget that you can implement or feel inspired by. I would be so grateful if you would share it with one friend or family member who is committed to moving forward and transforming their life. Make sure you subscribe so you can catch every new episode, and please leave me a review. It would mean so much to me. Also, follow me on Facebook and Instagram at @coachcarly. Thanks again for listening. And I'll see you in the next episode.